Welcome to part three of my Missing 411 series, and this is how they do it. And what does frequency have anything to do with it? All right, guys, so frequency has everything to do with this, actually. And uh, it's going to be important to understand a little basics about what frequency actually is. Uh, now, I'm not a quantum physicist or anything, but I will break it down a little bit so you guys can understand what's going on here. Now, in part one of my video of my Missing 401 series, we examined the topic and we eliminated the more common suspects. In part two, we examined the primary suspects and the relationship to each other, which were the Bigfoot, the alien, the dogman, and the reptilian. Now, I do want to make other videos on the primary suspects, but I was just kind of uh, introducing the, 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 the characters involved uh, because they actually do exist. Okay, and in uh, part three, I'm going to talk about these topics that you see on the screen and how, they are, uh, how uh, they're actually being targeted. And I'm going to get into a little bit of the why, but the why is going to be my wrap up video. And we're going to talk about why this is actually happening. Okay, so uh, this is Missing 411 How. We're going to talk about the runners. We're going to talk about infrasound. We're going to talk about the order of why, how they're chosen. Uh, you know how it is said that the, the first one or the last one is usually the one taken. Then we're talking about insects. We're going to talk about fog. We're going to talk about why Germans are taken, why autistic children are, are targeted, why, why in boulder fields, and why does GHB come up in a lot of these, and how. Okay, so uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so uh, we examine, you can find this map on Google, you can find it in, in uh, Dave Politis' books. And this is the missing 411 map, okay? Th this is the locations that the people are actually going missing, uh, the more common locations. As you can see, it actually covers a lot of the green area, which are, are like green belts and, and places where, you know, humans don't actually live in per se, okay? And then in part two, we examined how those correlate with uh, the Bigfoot maps and also the deep underground military bases. Uh, okay, so you need to understand, there's a basic understanding here that the U.S. government is not only being run by the U.S. government. In fact, there's two competing factions within the U.S. government. Uh, that's why a lot of people hate Trump. Uh, I personally could carry it away right now. But uh, Trump is actually in battle, in, that, in war with this other faction uh, that's running the US government. Okay, but that's another video, we're not gonna get into that. Okay, so then uh, this is where we're gonna start our topic. Okay, you need to understand that the air around you has density, okay? If you spin real quickly, you can feel the, feel the air molecules rushing around you. When you jump in a pool of water, that's a thicker frequency, a thicker, a thicker atmosphere, uh, thicker density around you, okay? Uh, you need to realize that your brain is a transmitting and receiving mechanism. Okay, and uh, we have here a quote by Dr. Galen Merlin, or Merlin. Okay, every object on this planet, planet still or alive has an electrical frequency that can be measured accurately. accurately. Electrical frequency is being measured by counting of the number of occurrences of a repeating current flow per second. This unit is called hertz, and for convenience, it is defined in multiplying units like kilohertz, megahertz, gigahertz, and terahertz. When referring to a living organism, the proper frequency measuring unit is megahertz, or equals to 106 hertz. So let's just say that a human being has a frequency of 106 hertz, okay? That is you. Remember, remember every object on this planet has a frequency. A vehicle has a frequency. You put a red cup inside that car on the dashboard, that vehicle now has a different frequency, okay? You need to follow this, okay? So this is what a frequency is characterized. How many crests and how many troughs per second, okay? You need to realize that matter is a frequency, okay? So if you're, see this, that, that, that is why uh, in the Bible, you, you have Lucifer who is the bearer of light and you have Lord who is the bringer of light. So you have Lord Jesus Christ and Lucifer. Okay, so you have Lucifer bearing the light and then you have, or holding the light and then you have Jesus Christ bringer of light. Okay, so uh, what does that have to do with frequency? Well, everything has, 
uh, let's say there's the you see this, this let's just say this picture on the screen is one second you have two crests and two troughs per second you could have so, an object depending on the density of that object that could have a million troughs and a million crests within that one second okay that 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 differentiates uh things you know um uh, well, I'll get into it, in, into it in a second. Okay, so your brain is a transmitting, receiving mechanism. It is also a storage device. Now, that's, that's where memory comes in. But how do you perceive the frequencies around you? Well, that is actually pretty simple. You have the five senses. There are actually seven senses, but I'm, that's, I'm going to have to save that for another video. Okay, so you have the sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of taste, the sense of smell, and the sense of touch. These are your perceivers of the world around you, okay? These things are that that that, that uh, your body parts are perceiving, are they're, they're, what they're perceiving is light. What is light? Light is just a color. Now let's break it down. Color equals light. Light equals a vibration. Vibration equals a frequency. And you interpret the world around you with these five senses, okay, on like on a daily basis, okay. So now let's go start get into into the topics. Now uh, I'm not going to go in exactly the order that I had displayed it a little while ago, but the reason why insects and they they should be your first warning sign why they are affected by vibration is because they actually use it more in a way that affects them, you know, on a daily basis. For instance, for example. Uh, uh, it has a picture of a cricket there. They they emit a frequency. I'm sure it's for mating or something. But uh, the 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 vibrational world, the frequency world, affects insects first. That is why when a group when an area is targeted, um, they're the first to go silent. They just they stay still. They they're they're no longer functioning because that vibration that they're targeting targeting the area with affects them first. Like for example, did you know? that uh, bees don't actually bat their, their, their wings. They actually emit a vibrational frequency that interacts with the cones on their wings. That allows them to, to generate a lift. So, that, so that's just a, a, one example of how frequency and vibration affects the insect world. And that should be a real telling. If the insects around you are going quiet, that means that something is targeting the area or you and is affecting the insects around you by generating a vibrational frequency. Okay, as far as why certain, now, now let's just take for example, Bigfoot has been said to be always taking the people that are in the front or in the back. Now, if you, if you believe that there is a superior order to things in life, uh, like an order of, uh, you know that's just characteristic of the world uh you you have to believe that um now humans are not real typical about doing the kind of this kind of thing anybody could be in any kind of order but the animal world will probably abide by these by these rules now if you look at this wolf pack here this is a picture that i found on google uh it says here a pack of wolves the first three are the are the older and sick and they set the pace for the group you're only as strong as your weakest component. If it was on the contrary, they would be left behind and lost contact with the pack in ambush because they would be sacrificed. The following three are the five strongest. In the center, follow the remaining members of the pack. And at the end of the group, uh, the, the other five stronger. Last alone follows the alpha wolf. It controls everything from the rear. The position can control the whole group, decide the direction and follow to anticipate the attacks of opponents. The pack follows the rhythm of the elders and the head of the command and the head of the command that uh, imposes the spirit of mutual help, not leaving anyone behind. Now, if you're looking at this from, uh, let's say, those of you who believe that, that Bigfoot is just some sort of uh, mammal-like creature that's just living in the woods, now, if you look at this order, and if this is dominant in the animal kingdom, uh, you would definitely want to target the ones in front because they're the weakest. Or if you have like a more dominant, let's say it's like an alpha Bigfoot, then you would want to attack the rear because you want to take out their alpha and you establish your dominance over the entire group. Now, uh, Bigfoot has been said to have a lot of interactions with coyotes. They, they have been said to uh, hate dogs. Dogs hate Bigfoots. Now, there's another reason why all that is going on, 
but let's just go with the premise that this is why they're being targeted in this order. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now, it's something real characteristic about, about boulder fields. Now, what are boulder fields? And I don't really know an exact science about this. In, in my opinion, it could be like maybe a riverbed, if I'm looking at it from a scientific point of view, uh, an old riverbed or, uh, a, I mean, I don't know. I mean, why is there boulders just laying out everywhere? So I got to thinking about this and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Where did the boulders come from, right? Like they they look like they're pretty good, pretty uh, they're they're put together pretty well. And like, where have I seen something like this? That's when I realized that these may correlate with the deep underground military bases, but not the human bases, but the alien bases. Now imagine all this cubic metric ton of of, of rock being taken out of uh, from the from underground. Like w w imagine a cavern system where all this used to be in. Now you would think like, why would they dig an underground an underground base uh, where there's rock? I'm like, well, because rock is an actual shield, uh, but and it's also a vibrational transmitter. Now let's say I would I were to step on one of these rocks, it would actually send a vibrational frequency throughout the entire field. So I step on this first rock that has a measurable frequency that that travels through the entire field. And depending on the strength of where their receivers or transmitters are, they can determine exactly where the disturbance is. So they could actually track you down that way. Now, am I saying that some giant ant is coming out and taking these people underground? No, but we do have records of the Hopi Indians saying, talking about the ant people. Now that is freaking amazing. It, it, it's an uh, amazing correlation that, that uh, I came up with. And uh, I really think that where in the areas where there are uh, these boulder fields, there's probably huge cavern systems where these alien beings are actually staying. I think that's pretty cool, guys, and I think it, it warrants some research. If anybody can correlate the 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 underground military bases with these ant holes or 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 boulder fields, I think it's I think it's worth a look. All right. <clears throat> Now, why are runners targeted? Because you hear Dave Pilates talking about runners and how and why and that they're taken and stuff. Now, for a while, I was thinking, well, I mean, cougars could probably be uh, a main source of these, but they the dogs would pick up on the scent, so you can't exactly use that. <clears throat> But one thing about running, those of you guys who don't do it, you don't, you won't understand this. But there's this this thing called a runner's high. Now, when you hit a runner's high, that is akin to meditation. It is akin to clearing your vibration. It's a, it is akin to releasing the negative frequencies within your body. But what happens when you do that is you enter this this meditative state while you're running and you exude and you exhibit this frequency around you and it's like a calling card. OK, so if anything, anything or anyone with 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 equipment sophisticated enough to pick up on your change in vibrational frequency, then they're going to know exactly where you are and they're going to be able to pick you up and take you. All right. Like it, that's just, that's the basics. I mean, if you've never experienced a runner's high, then you're not going to understand what this is about. Okay. Because it just, you could, let's say you're running 10 miles and you're struggling, you know, you, the first, the first mile, first two miles are okay. Third one, fourth one are hard. Fifth one's hard. You hit that runner's high at that sixth mile. Everything just disappears. You can run forever. You hit a state controlled breathing, meditative state. And that is what runner's high is all about. But what happens is that it, it you become this transmitting device, okay? Your brain just explodes, all right? Everything you could, everything you want comes to you, everything you don't want may come to you if you're thinking about it in some way. So uh, that that is how a runner's high, uh, that is why runners are targeted, okay? Now this, is uh, a picture from Jimmy Church or Clyde Lewis. Uh, I'll leave the link uh, in the description. Now, this is Mount Adams. Uh, 
Now he 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 was recently out there at a ranch, I believe it was the East Eddy Ranch, and uh, he was recording the mountain. And in one single frame, he caught this UFO coming out of this hole. Now it's not really visible in this picture, but I will leave the the. the if you guys want to look it up, but I also leave I'll also leave the the link in the in the description. Now uh, a lot of you guys want to see this massive UFO with bright lights and all, but this is actually what they look like. They're moving so fast, guys. Okay. In fact, uh, I have a video uh, that I recorded several years ago in my backyard with several of these UFOs. See what well, what I was doing at the time? I was actually hitting this meditative state while running and working out in my backyard. Um, and I, these 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 creatures, these beings, are actually attracted to your change in in vibrational frequency. So this is what I recorded in my backyard. Now this video was slowed down to twelve point five percent speed, which would what my Mac allowed, the slowest I could get it, and it was still only there for one frame. Now I will also leave a link to this video in the description, and it is. It is amazing, guys, because they are they are so fast. Like you, it boggles the mind how fast these things are. But you can actually see them coming in to view. Now, uh, uh, I was actually recording the sky because I was trying to put the Starship Enterprise in there. Uh, it's kind of funny because I was I was trying to put a UFO technically in my video, and I ended up actually catching some UFOs in there. Uh, but I, I will also leave a, a that video in the description. Okay. Um, now fog. Now why does fog why is fog characteristic in a lot of these cases? Because what happens is they're trying to target somebody. It may be the t the the type of person that they're trying to target whether it may be a hunter who's more armed. Now in in, in situations I'm not sure what their situation is. I haven't actually highlighted a lot of the cases where the fog was involved, but they are trying to create more density around the t the, the target See, because these beings are also non-corporeal beings. They are a vibration. They exist as a frequency. Now, this starts to get into dimensional type of things. See, but you need to realize that everything that we see is within the color spectrum. A dim another dimension could just be over here in the infrared or in the x-ray or in ultraviolet or whichever way it goes. Uh, so these beings are actually trying to come into this realm. And this is going to get into the why video, but uh, they need to create a more density around you. Like I said, you know, like sharks have the ampullae of Lorenzini. They can tell when when uh, uh, an animal is nearby and, they're, and they, they, they twitch because the electrical signal between the muscle and their organ is being received through the, the, the water molecules. But the same thing is true about air. So when you create more density around it, you now have more of a grasp in this world. So it's it's kind of involved, guys, but this is how this is why they do it. They're trying to create more density around you to get a better grip around a grip of you. That's why some some cases have this this fog that's following people because they're actually just waiting for the right opportunity. When you've let your guard down, they'll just engulf you with this fog and then they'll take you. OK. Um, now, why the German people are targeted? You hear that a lot of German scientists and a lot of uh, people who are German are being targeted and taken. Now this gets a little more hairy, if you want to say. But you need to realize that there are genetic differences between human beings. Like you can't tell me that an African man is exactly like a, a, a Chinese man. You know what I mean? They're, they're, we may all be human, but there are certain differences. Now, um, according to David Icke, and a lot of other people that the reptilian race actually had actually prefers uh, the German people. Now it says here, interesting. You said the reptilians had been pursuing the Aryan peoples around the universe because the blood of the white race was particularly important to them for some reason, and the blonde-haired, blue-eyed genetic stream was the one they wanted more than any other. Now, science kind of looks at, at things as. Uh, you know, like a basic human being, you have these traits, you don't have these traits, you have brown hair, you, they look at blue eyed people as like a genetic uh, deformity or something. But what happens is this, okay, you take somebody who has 20-20 vision, 
Now they may be, may be may be able to see perfectly in this world, but let's say a person with 2060 vision may be able to see or hear. I mean, uh, see um, uh, an entity that a person with 2020 can't see. For instance, I have 2060 vision, and I can see these beings when they're around. Now, is it because of my 2060 vision? Well, according to Abraham Hicks, that is the case. Now, you, you, person with blue eyes may be targeted by the reptilian race for another reason. Uh, but what, uh, what I'm trying to get at here is that the Aryan people, let's just say Hitler, was approached by the group you know, that we know as the Orion group or the Arian uh, because they wanted to create a master race on these on this earth, a master race of white people, which are the people that they prefer, uh, in order to have more of a selection per se. Let's just say, so that is why the German people are actually targeted. Okay. Uh, now uh, the reason why autistic children and children who we believe are less than normal are targeted is because they're actually more than normal. See, uh, autistic children also have this thing where they're geniuses. Okay, a lot of people don't know this, but autistic children are actually on another level. They're vibrating, their frequency is so much higher, and they are actually preferred by these beings. Now, I don't wanna get into the why of this because this is gonna be important for the why video, but uh, that is that the, the, the autistic children are actually targeted because they're, they're better. Uh, their uh, their thought processes are much more advanced than a normal human who can only think at a a given pace. An autistic children can th a child can think so much faster, and that that is that, that that is why they are different. Okay. Now this is Skinny Bob. Now I don't know who who recorded this video or who shot these pictures, but this is exactly what one of these alien grays looked like. This is not a fake, okay? And I can say that 100% because this is exactly what I saw on my grandmother's front porch. And these are the exact fingers that I saw coming at my forehead. So whoever, wherever this skinny bomb photo or video came from, they know exactly what this alien looks like and it is 100% real because look up skinny bob this is a, a real alien this is 100% real i don't care what anybody tells you because i have seen two of these on my grandmother's front porch okay all right now let's get to the main topic and it's the topic is ghb now you hear dave polite is always talking about ghb and how uh, these these people are being found with elevated levels of GHB. Okay, so what happens is GHB is naturally occurring in the body. You can also be given some artificial version like the date rape pill, rohypnol, or whatever it's called. Okay, so what but what happens is that GHB has an antagonist. Okay, so let's just it's it's really involved. It's really above my head, but I've broken it down to extrapolate or extract the things that we need for our purposes. <laughs> okay, so also known as uh, 4-hydroxybutonic acid is naturally occurring neuro neurotransmitter and psychoactive drug. It is a precursor to GABA. Okay, and the reason I put that before infrasound is because infrasound is something that is said to be used by the Bigfoots, but it can also be artificially generated, okay? Uh, tigers use it, and this is what it is. Infrasound is something referred to as low frequency sound, is sound that is lower in frequency than 20 hertz or cycles per second, the normal limit of human hearing. So let's say a human, a human uh, we have already established, has a normal frequency of 106 hertz. If you are hit with something that's 20 hertz, you all, you're slowed down and it messes with you. Okay, look at what I found. Okay, so it turns out that at 14.4 hertz, plus or minus 2.1, you get a degradation in GABA, which is, uh, 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 da, 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 what did it say? It, which is a precursor to, to GHB. Okay, so at 14.4, you get a picrotoxin that is created in the gut, in the liver, also known as a coculin, is a poisonous crystalline plant compound due to the interactions 
uh, with inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA acts as a stimulant and a convulsant. So when you hear that some of these some of these people that are being targeted with the, this this equipment or the, the through what however they're attacking you with the infrasound, which is just a vibration, a frequency that you're being targeted with, uh, that's why they start to feel sick or like they all of a sudden want to sit down or they can't move because you're actually being targeted and this goes the same thing with with the insects they're 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 gone they don't want to have anything to do it they're just they're, they're dormant they're they're not moving okay so a picotoxin is, is generated and uh it mainly impacts the central nervous system causing seizures and respiratory paralysis in high doses and that's actually how the aliens when they're inside their house uh, actually attack you with this stuff with a vibrational frequency because it feels like an electrocution because i can speak from personal experience okay so what happens when that happens is you get a uh dissocinic somaldehyde dehyd dehydrogenase deficiency is caused by the enzyme deficiency in GABA. So you get hit by the by the infrasound, you get a deficiency in GABA under normal conditions, SSHH works with the enzyme gamma transmitted to convert GABA to succinic acid and then is utilized by the Krebs cycle. However, because of the deficiency, the final inter intermediate of the GABA de degradation pathway, succinic somaldehyde, accumulates and cannot be oxidized to succinic acid and therefore reduced to GHB dehydrogenase, which we all know causes all the issues that it causes. Uh, it, the, this causes elevations in GHB and is believed to be the trademark of this disorder. And I don't know why I'm reading off my phone. And is believed to be and cause for the neurological manifestation scene. So this is why you all of a sudden become uh, immobile and uh, you end up being uh, taken. And that's how they take you. They immobilize you. And they do it by vibrational frequency. And that's how, that's how tigers do it. You know, they, they attack you with this infrasound. It, it, it produces a, a, a reduction in the GABA, which you now, which now causes a, 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 a elevation of succinic somaldehyde, which now you have a whole bunch of GHB that you can't process. Now, this science is involved, guys. If you guys can break it down a little better, that'd be awesome. You guys can make a video, link me to it, whatever. I'd be awesome. Okay, this is just another... Um, because the government already knows how to use these things. And this is just another example. Rapidly pulsed, extremely low frequency called ELF. Electronic, electro, electromagnetic field zaps the entire head, deployed solely when the TI is sleeping, when the torturer is, yes, yes, yes. Um, what it really wanted to get into is this. Okay, so these are not cell phone towers. They are called Gwen towers. In fact, they've been around since before cell phones were invented and they're everywhere. In fact, this is a picture of one that was taken in the woods. Now, um, with these, did some of these things have cameras on them? So you can be targeted individually with these things. So this is and this is, goes into how some of the, the human groups are actually targeting some of these people, okay? So, um, and this is just an example. I mean, this stuff exists. So that's, that's a poor young lady who's being targeted. Now they can give her electric shock. This, they can cover a power itch, a limb. They can make her limb move. They can make her collapse, fatigue, force sleep, force wake, sickness, heart rate, fast pulse, orgasm. Like this stuff exists, guys. Like this is not like some sort of super science or anything. Like we can do this now. Um, in fact, um, it's even, and I wonder, I don't know if I actually put it down, but it's been said that we we can actually project a voice into the hearer's head. Now, if that doesn't sound like God things telling people to do things or turn here, turn there when they're actually driving, causing them to go into an accident. I mean, I mean, that's that's how they're doing it. I mean, I don't know how else to break it down to you guys. Okay, so this is just another example of weapons that we have that can can use the same kind of thing. Okay, so let's so say one of the tools used by the military in behavior modification and mind control is the remotely operated electromagnetic frequency weapons. These weapons use uh, microwave extremely low frequencies and acoustic frequencies to co covertly manipulate the minds of persons under attack. The use of frequency weapons upon humans towards behavioral control and murder is not new. For, for well over 50 years, neuroelectromagnetic frequency weapons have been perfected by their covert use in warfare. These classified non-lethal or silent weapons have also been perfected by experimenting on unsuspecting individuals since their early development, directing a beam of frequencies to a human brain can cause a series of side effects. 
Elf waves ca cause nausea, headaches, accelerated heart rate without cause to name but a few. In 1974, the first unclassified successful transmission of the human voice, it's right here, directly into the skull of a living person was performed by Dr. Joseph C. Sharp of Walter Reed Army Institute of Research by transforming a hypnotist voice using elves. This technique was later developed into the... I didn't, and that's it. So we have a case where a human voice was actually transmitted into a, the skull of a human being where they can um, they, they can um, hear it. So uh, this goes back to what our five senses are and how we interpret the actual world around us. Because you need to realize that everything around us is just a frequency. Matter is just a frequency. We are creating our reality. The aliens actually have to do it the other way around because they are of not reality and they're trying to be in this world so 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 we have like this opposing way of of, of, of looking at the world see they want to be in this world and uh the only way to do it and i'm going to get get into that video in the why they do it so uh this is pretty much it guys um let me see subdemonic suggesting remote remote position of the elf freezing Pulsations can induce sleep paralysis, and that's pretty much it, guys. So what I'm, what the point is here is that it's all about frequency, and that is how they're actually in this world. That is why you can't find Bigfoot. Like, you know, people say have seen him. Yes, because they can vibrate at a at, at a rate where they can become corporeal. They can become visible to us. Right? Nobody's ever gonna catch him. If Abraham Hicks can just literally tell you that that you will never be able to catch Bigfoot and stake her entire career, Gloria's career, on that on that statement, then I'm gonna back it up 100% because I believe what he or she says. Okay, so uh, you're never gonna find Bigfoot because they can vibrate in and out of this reality, right? Yes, you found you found hair. Yes, you have found footprints, but you have found those things because they have left them behind. See, your your idea of what of what life really is has to change because you yourself are just a vibrational frequency. All right. So that concludes my uh, how they're doing it. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't seen my other two. I highly recommend that that you watch those videos. Uh, it's part one, part two, this is part three. Part four is going to get into the why, guys, and uh, I think it's really important and that you guys listen to why this is happening because it's going to have some biblical roots in this. all this. See, that's why people can't wrap their minds around the entire thing because they're, they're trying to think of, you know, somebody out there committing a crime or an animal being taking these people or aliens or just Bigfoot or just or either. It's all involved. It's all the same thing. It has everything to do with frequency, vibration, and light. And um, that concludes my video, guys. Peace out. I hope you like this video. Hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next video.